All right, hi everybody. Well, I got here my uh, MacBook Pro, and basically I ran, I'm I'm out of uh, you know hard disk space, but I need to run Parallels for Mark's row where I work my day job, and uh, and some other applications I can put put on there as well, like maybe Premiere Pro and some other things that take up a lot of space and they could better be there and free up more, you know, so my machine can get back to you know being powerful and when I give these demonstrations, there's no problem. So. In any event, I have here one of the uh, uh, drives, an EVO uh, Samsung solid state drive. It's from Samsung uh, themselves, uh, two and a half inch, and that's one uh, terabyte. I got two of these. It's strange with Amazon how they ship everything separately. So you order one thing, but you get them all from different places. So I got two of these drives coming in, and we're going to install this uh, drive dock from OWC. Uh, all of these were actually quite affordable. Um, this one on Amazon, and I don't have any Amazon, uh, uh, you know, what do you call it, affiliate links or anything like that, but I'll leave the links below so you can check it out. Yeah, this was 132 US dollar, and the drive itself was 115 US dollar. I think that's with uh, uh, shipping and everything uh, included. And you see how it works, you just you just put your drives in there. So and you connect it with the USB C in theory. And it works on Windows, Mac, and Chrome. And there's yeah, of course USB C. So nice packaging. Uh, being in the print business, always nice to see. Looks good, feels good, simple but uh, to the point and effective. What I heard from my colleagues is that uh, parallels, which is quite demanding. Uh, on a system works perfectly on this and you can you can launch parallels no problem any Mac OS 10.6 or later so that's no problem with this uh, 10.13 machine here I have to laugh at this uh, this one here I'll show you well I guess you know you have to you have to warn people particularly children I guess in this case it's well packed it says, yeah, this this bag is not a toy. I mean, of course not. Who would buy this as a toy? But anyway, yeah. and right there, you got your protective stickers on there. We'll leave them on for right now. You can see what a beauty it is. Feels good. Feels you know, relative good quality. A little bit lighter than I would have expected. It's not too heavy, but I guess the drives will. We'll get that heavier. And what's great, because nowadays you never know if they're going to include. You get, and that's it. That's the box. You get three, three cables. You get your power, which is US, which is not very good. But I have adapters for that. Uh, you get your um, uh, USB-C cable. And you get your standard USB cable to USB-C. So for this one, we'll need USB-C to USB-C. Yes, yeah, so I got my little uh, adapter here. That is a bummer that it doesn't come with the European uh, plug. I'm here in the Netherlands. But anyway, luckily I got a bunch of these laying around. Should be no problem. I guess we'll see. And uh, let's check out the drive here real fast before we plug it into. Okay. You get your little information book here. Just more, more just about warranty. Installation guide, warranty statement. Okay. Let me take it out of here. And there we get the drive itself. Not that heavy at all, very light. V hyphen NAND SSD 870 EVO 1 terabyte. And it goes in, not like this, not with this side, but with the circuitry side to the left of the 
OWC logo. So you want to put in like that. And you can look down in, if you open up the big side, you can look down in and see where it has to go. And you just put it right in there. It should just slide right in. Like that. Okay. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take uh, the USB-C here. I might, I, I, I want to eventually put this down here a bit more. I might need to get a longer USB-C cable, but that's, you know, that's just my problem right now. Um, I did a little bit of rearranging here. So, uh, let's see here. It doesn't look too dust um, friendly. It's very loose to openings. It's the only thing that kind of concerns me. But anyway, I keep it pretty clean here in general. Uh, USB 3.1 Gen 2. Okay, so we'll put in the USB there. We'll put the power is power cord is also not so long. We'll put that in here like that, of course. What we'll first do is plug it into the USB C port here. So that's a USB USB C port C on the MacBook Pro. And we can take this, and uh, well, maybe I can put it down below. But for, for right now, I'm just going to keep it right here so you can see what uh, what what's going on. So let's first uh, plug her in here. Okay, so this is port one. So you push the power button right there for number one. Do that on. Okay, <laughs> number one, you have to turn the device on back here up top. Flip it on there. Now that's on there, we're going to press number one. Now we see number one showing up and flashing uh, pink, and now it's staying blue. Now the little instructions here tell us the drive dock LEDs will show red when there's an active data connection. So there's no active data connection. And I don't see anything in my sidebar on my uh, Mac on my second screen here. The LEDs will show blue when there's an active data connection. Well, that's blue. The LEDs will blink blue and pink when there's an active data connection. Dock is powered on, the dat drive activity is present. We saw that when we first turned it on. To safely remove your drives, no data is lost, always unmount. Right, yeah, that's okay. All right, so now we have to see how we get it to uh, show up here. The disk you attach was not readable by this computer. Okay, I'm gonna jump over to the computer here. I got uh, the message right here now on the main screen of the MacBook Pro. So what I'm going to do to keep it simple, you can use uh, disk utility and all that to uh, format drives. I'm just going to click initialize here. And it brings up disk utility for you. And you see here external dual drive dock one media. I click on that one. And first thing, my drive should show up on my in my sidebar and on my uh, desktop. I have that setting set up under, sorry, under Finder Preferences, uh, General. They sh show these items on your desktop, boom. And under Sidebar, they show up here as well. Click Erase. I'm going to give it a name, and on HD1, since I'll have two of these suckers. Um, the format is, I'm going to put it to XFAT, so that just means I can use it not only on Mac OS, but also on Windows machines. I'm not sure that Parallels requires that to, to work, but this is just the best way because you can use it on a TV or a Windows machine or a Macintosh machine, it doesn't matter. Uh, the MBR is for older, uh, older systems, so uh, the GUID partition map should be fine. It's recommended for most users. Okay. Uh, Samsung hard drive one, let's do one. Let's click erase. 
There it goes off doing its thing there. Okay, now we click done in our sidebar here, right here. So there's our new drive. So now we have the drive connected right here. You can see our new drive right there. You can see it's almost one terabyte, 999.95 gigabyte. Well, close enough, right? Who's counting a gigabyte here or there at this stage? You see it also on the desktop as well showing up. So it'll show up with all the other uh, external drives or whatever might be connected. It was that easy to install dual drive dock with the Samsung uh, one terabyte hard drive. You just have to initi initialize the hard drive, which is actually quite simple. A little scary at first, but it's really quite simple. And uh, that's how easy it is to get an external hard drive with a dual dock connected to your MacBook Pro so you can run external applications like in this case Parallels. And that'll be the next uh, challenge. <laughs> well, it should be quite straightforward, I guess. Anyway, thank you for watching. David from Pinecker01, wishing you a fantastic day.